Operation of the SFD-1000 does depend on the model that you purchase. There's the SFD-1000P, which is primarily for pool applications. And we have the SFD-1000G, which I have here today, which is the general purpose unit that can be used in a multitude of different applications. To turn the unit on, you will just depress the on button. And as you can see, to indicate on, the LEDs scan across the display. And the mode button or the mode uh, LED remains green until it flashes three times. When it goes into the flashing three times, you're actually in the calibration mode. And at that point, you can't receive anything until the LED flashes three more times, which you just saw there. So we are now ready to receive lightning strikes. You see that the mode LED will flash about every 10 seconds, indicating which mode it is operating in. The dash P or the pool version only has the continuous on mode so the LED will always be green. However, however if you have the SFD1000G you can also put it into a special mode called the accelerometer mode. The purpose of that mode is to save battery when the vehicle is not in motion. To enter that mode you will press the on button and then press it a second time and the LED will indicate orange, indicating it's in the accelerometer mode. It will do a calibration again, and once it is ready to go, it will turn orange. If it's in accelerometer mode and the vehicle is moving, it'll turn on automatically. But if the vehicle stops and has been motionless for 30 minutes, it will go back into the listening mode, which is indicated by just the LED flashing orange every 10 seconds. Now I'm going to use a lightning emulator which is a test board that we have built up here to simulate lightning. So as you can see the emulator when it's far distance away will actually turn the display green which indicates that the lightning is somewhere between 17 to 25 miles away. As we go in closer it will turn blue which is 16 miles down to 7 miles and then it'll turn red when it's less than 7 miles. So there you can see it uh, has detected lightning and it starts to flash. Once it goes into detection mode it will beep three times and indicate the range by the color. And as the lightning gets closer it will change to the red indicating the closest distance. If you should want to silence the unit, so each time a lightning strike occurs it doesn't cause the beeper to go, you press and hold the off switch for one second and you'll hear a beep indicating that the beeper has been turned off and lightning strikes can occur and it doesn't beep any, any further but it does continue to flash. Uh, that's kind of handy if you're out uh, on your boat and uh, the thing goes off and it just gets annoying to have it repeatedly beeping at you. Uh, once the display goes back to the listening mode, then it will re-enable the beeper so that the next time a storm approaches you will be warned. Uh, to turn the unit off, all you do is press and hold the off switch for five seconds. And the display will walk its way back that way red, indicating that the unit has been turned off. So there you have the operation of the SFD-1000.